Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Studio Walls Artist Interviews, brought to you by Elizabeth Zadoff Art Advisory. My name is Alexa Carvajal, and in this episode, I sat down with Susan Schwab to discuss her journey through the COVID-19 pandemic. An artist living in Manhattan, I have worked in silver point and metal point drawing, a Renaissance technique, oh, since the early 1970s. I came upon this technique quite by accident and it became an obsession for me and my primary medium. Unlike most artists in this medium, I am abstract and make reductive works. I use color and all sorts of things. I wrote a book with a colleague, Tom Mazzullo, in, entitled Silver Point and Metal Point Drawing, A Complete Guide to the Medium which has done quite well. And it's a great book. I wish I had had it when I started out because I started out just buying a, a simple tool at New York Central, which no longer exists. Mm -hmm. And, you know, experimenting. Um, so I'm really interested to understand what it was like for you during the course of the pandemic. Were you able to continue your practice as customary or were you kind of like blockaded with an emotional bypass? Now, right now I'm working on a series that relates to the loss of my husband. Cause I, I, I know about, I lost, I want to say it's 12 or 13 friends in the last year and a half. Some to COVID, some to old age, some to extraordinary, mm -hmm. some, some to cancer. It has been a horrendous time. I spoke at four memorials in the last few months, wow. um, which doesn't include my husband's funeral mm -hmm. or memorial. Um, so I am, I am doing some pieces that I call elegy, which relate all my work. I don't start out such a different body. It relates to what I was working on. Mm -hmm. What I was working on was a series called Variations that had four, the page was divided into four and there are different colors of metal and different kinds of lines. And sometimes um, art comes out after the fact. Yeah. That's the case of many artists. You don't instantly have an idea you know, I don't say what the pandemic might do or not do to my art going ahead. I can't know that. Mm -hmm. But the pieces I'm making are about loss. So that is what the pandemic did. We lost everything. Yeah. So, you know, it's triggered by my husband, but um, it is what happened to us. Right, it's collective, it's collective. But Susan, on some closing thoughts, do you, do you have any words of wisdom for artists who also have really um, went through a roller coaster through the past year and a half and how they can really emerge themselves and continue their practice? I try to go back to work, make, make pieces from, remake a piece. I mean, that's what I did after my husband died and I went back to work. Mm -hmm. But I'm in the middle of the X series. I'm going to make another one. So mm -hmm. I look at them and I see how they were done. So I make an eighth one or a ninth one. And then mm -hmm. gradually I began to have other ideas. I think right. for artists, it's, it's just you start to do it. And even if you throw it away, even if it doesn't come out well, at least you start. And it's easier to start with work that you've already done, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I was in the middle of a 30 by 30 inch panel and it took me a number of weeks, once back at work after my husband died, that I could work on it because it required enormous attention to detail and focus. And I didn't wanna screw it up as it were. So it mm -hmm. took me some weeks till I felt that I could start the piece again. I was in the middle, which is helpful. Yeah. It's very helpful to be in the middle of something when you take a long break. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't plan that usually, but if it happens, even if that work fails, you can go back to it. Even if you, but the piece is gorgeous. So it didn't fail. And oh, I was able to focus on it. 
each artist finds their own way. You know, the other would be to take a, in a bad time, you take a sketchbook and right. if you can, because there you're just fooling around in, in many ways or plan things or whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, and my work is pristine, so it does have to be perfect. <laughs> um, you know, I envy people who can do messy work because I've done that, but that doesn't work for me. Thank you, Susan, for an amazing talk. You can learn more about Elizabeth Sadoff Art Advisory and our initiatives by subscribing to our channel and following us on Instagram and Facebook under Sadoff Art. Thank you for watching.